Canes fam. Canes fans, what up, what up, what up? Hey, uh, my apologies on not making a video last week for the FSU game. I uh, was feeling kind of under the weather, and plus I got, I got family members in, in the panhandle. Pray for them. They fared out pretty quickly uh, because of Hurricane Michael. But it was a busy week, and I just didn't have time to make any commentary. I'm an average Joe. You know, I work for a living, so I try to get you the videos when I can. Um, but I just I just got done watching the Miami UVA game, uh, watching them, and Miami lost to Virginia. Okay. Nineteen to thirteen. What was the thing? What let me see, what was the final score in that game? I mean, I just turned it off. Nin nineteen to thirteen, man. Nineteen to thirteen. They they messed around and lost to Virginia. Unranked Virginia, 19 to 13, that they lost to this team. Now I'm gonna be real quick. I'm gonna be real quick and kind of brief about this. I'm just gonna take a few minutes, a couple of minutes of your time. Um yeah. I'm sorry, my bad. It was 16 to 13. And I was thinking 19 to 13. 16 to 13, and they're rushing the field, right? But here's here's the thing. I've been watching this team. I've been watching this team since the early 80s. I mean, since I was old enough to actually kind of op comprehend and understand what I was watching, watching the football game, okay? My father, as a kid growing up, my dad and my uncles watch, watching Miami Hurricanes football, okay? Let me tell you something, man. I am so sick and tired. It's been uh, since about the time Miami hired Randy Shannon around 2005, okay? It's been a long time. I, I am very – I'm so sick and tired of a team that is literally a virtual NFL factory. These guys send – this Miami Hurricanes football program, they send talent to the NFL every year. Every year, you get more than a handful of guys that get drafted in the NFL out of this program. And the ones that don't get drafted, they go on as free agents. But it, it ain't no secret that Miami Hurricanes players, even in down years, even during the Randy Shannon and the Al Golden years, they go on and they have great careers in the NFL. Some of the best players in the NFL today played under Randy Shannon and Al Golden. You know, during during the sanctions and, you know, Nevin Shapiro and all that crap. And I'm just so sick and tired of seeing a team that is a virtual NFL factory losing to shit programs like University of Virginia. You ain't got no business going up to Virginia and losing a damn football game. Now, a couple of points. Who lost this game? This game here, it is solely on Mark Rick. It is solely on Mark Rick. And I'm going to tell you right now, I'm saying this as a, as a fan. And I know Mark Rick. You know, I, I think he does kind of keep his, pul his pulse on the fan base. He's already called himself out for play calling, his play calling uh, last week. Now, he needs to get his shit together, okay? And he needs to put his ego aside, and he needs to quit with the nepotism with his son as a, as a quarterback's coach. And he needs to, to hire a legit offensive coordinator or they're going to be calling for They're going to be calling for hit. That seat's going to get hot. You're going to learn real quick. This ain't Georgia. They, they're not going to put up that with, with that for 15 years here in Miami. You're going to find them, them seats and that stadium is going to get empty real quick. Okay. Y'all better get it together. Let me tell you something, man. Um... You got no excuses now. We're not under sanctions. You got all the scholarships. You got more talent. You've got more talent on this roster than we've had in the past decade. And, and, and we can't even put a drive together, can't even sustain a drive because you don't know what to do with a quarterback and you can't, and, and you call him plays like it's 1992. The offensive game has passed you by. Okay, what you need to do, you need to get like your mentor, Bobby Brown, Bobby Bowden, 
like Bobby Bowden did and be a CEO. Hire you got Manny Diaz. He's doing he's doing all he can with that defense. He's doing great with that defense. One of the best defenses in the country. But the defense can't carry the day all the time. You got to put together a, a, a better game plan, and you just ain't the man to do it. Be the manager. Be a CEO. Mark Rick needs to be a CEO. He needs to hire a young, innovative play caller who knows how to develop a quarterback, who knows how to develop an offensive line, know what he's looking for and what they need at offensive line. Because if not, this is how can how are you not going to be able? How how are you going to struggle putting together a drive? against Virginia. That's pitiful. That's no excuse, man. No excuse. And and then pulling pulling the Cozy Perry after two bad drives. We we've sat there and watched you, Coach Mark Rick. We've sat there and watched you ride with Malik Rozier. Okay. Malik Rozier had basically uh including last season, five bad games we watched. And really, the only complete game y'all had last season was uh, uh, with versus Notre Dame and Virginia, Virginia Tech. Notre Dame and Virginia Tech were the only two complete games we had last season, and that, that was because of the defense. We, we know the deficiencies with Malik Roser, and you've been riding with that guy for, for a season and a half almost. And then you pulled Perry. Just because he throws two interceptions early on, early on in the game, he's a red shirt freshman. But even as a even as a red red shirt freshman, it's obvious that he's more talented than Malik. Just watching this game tonight, all them bad passes Malik was throwing. That interception he threw, man, had no so what he got hit. That ball had no zip on it. Pass after pass after pass. Like you've been through this, man. You've been through this. This is frustrating. This is frustrating. I'm telling you right now, man. Mark Rick needs to hire an offensive coordinator. I'm not saying fire Mark Rick yet, but I'm saying all I'm saying is you better keep Manny Diaz. You better you better change your special teams coach, and you better hire you an offensive coordinator. You need to look in the mirror tonight and say, look, I'm I'm a CEO for this team. I've done great things for the program. Got the IPF built. But out there, game time, calling plays, and setting offensive game plan, I'm just not the man for that anymore. Nick, if 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 Nick Saban is able to do it, and you ain't no better than Nick, man. Nick, Nick is able to adapt. That's why he's winning championships because he realized that the game had passed him by. You can't be on the on, calling offensive plays anymore. That's just not you. It's not you, man. And benching Perry, that's some bullshit. That's that's a mistake. Right there, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm predicting right now this team this team might lose three or four games this season. They're 5-2 and two now. And I don't think the way they look, I don't think that they can go into Blacksburg and win. Okay? And are, are, are you seriously going to ride with Rozier again? Are we really going to go here? We really going to go there? This is frustration right here, man. The game just went off, and I'm filming this thing right now. So you can chime in, Hurricanes fans. Look, I'm just an average Joe. I'm no analyst. You know, I'm just telling you as a guy who just likes to watch football as I see it. This is frustrating. This is crazy, man. This is crazy. This is crazy. You see? That's 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 I don't know if y'all can see that. I mean I, I have that banner on my wall with pride, man. That's just too much talent on that team. You got guys like Brevin Jordan, Jeff Tom. You got arguably some of the most talented receivers and tight ends. If not, if not in the country, definitely in the ACC. You got the best defense, arguably the best overall defense in the ACC. And you're losing games. We're losing games because we can't develop a quarterback right. And part of developing a quarterback right is sticking by your young QB when he has ups and downs in the game. We can't develop an offensive line, okay? And um, 
we have a head coach who his he's shot. His offensive game plan, he's like an old boxer, man, who's just shot. You can't he cannot call plays. An uh, offense is so predictable. It's so vanilla. Run, run, pass, punt. Run, run, pass, punt. Run, run, pass, punt. Of course, your defense is going to get gashed in the fourth quarter because you suck at calling plays. You can't sustain a drive and put points on the board, man. Against, against. I mean, you got you got guys on the squad. You got guys on on. Man, you got players playing on that offense right now on the offense that are going to go. Eventually, they're going to go sec- first round, second round. Brevin Jordan, that's a first round draft pick. He's a freshman. I'm telling you right now, that kid's going to go in the first round. Jeff Thomas, okay, that's a first round wide receiver, okay. D- um, Travis Homer and DJ Dow, uh, Travis Homer and DJ Dallas, those are second and third round picks, man. Which which means they're very talented. For a running back to go to be a second or third round prospect, Travis Homer ain't going in no fourth or fifth round. Kid's too talented. I'm telling you right now, if he had the kind of offensive line that they got in Wisconsin, DJ Dallas, Lorenzo Lingrad, you got guys that these are, are upper round draft picks on the squad and they can't even they can't even put a drive together, man. It's frustrating. It's some bullshit. That's a that's Mark Rick as an offensive play caller is bullshit, and he needs to put stop being stubborn. You know, you, you get some of those guys that you see a lot in the NFL where they don't care if the ship goes down as long as it goes down with their guy, as long as it goes down with the quarterback that they choose or the game plan that they choose. It just so set in his ways, man, and and so adept at tuning. I, but hey, you know what, Kings fans, I love y'all. I'm gonna be tuning in to YouTube and some of the blogs to see what you guys are saying about it. But man, I'm about done. I'm about. I'm. I'm. I'm happy that Mark Rick came in and saved us from Al Golden. Got the recruiting up. Got the IPF built. You know, made the program attractive again. It's an attractive coaching job again. There are coaches out there that that want to come down to this program and coach this program. Okay, matter of fact, I mean I'm not even going to get into the Bush Davis talk, but anyway, but I'm I'm, I'm thinking that Mark Rick his time. Uh, I'm thinking maybe like four, three or four years, maybe five years down here is enough. Uh, maybe maybe another season because it ain't looking like they went into ACC this season. Uh uh-uh. uh, and um. I'm thinking that maybe this year, next year might be uh, Blake James might need to sit down and have a talk with this dude. I'm like, look, man, you you got to adapt. Look, that's that that's all I got to say, Kings fan. I'm 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 gonna sip my coffee here. You know, do some work on my computer. And call it a night. If you're a Canes fan, you've been rooting for him for 30 years, or you've been rooting for him for just, if you just started rooting for him tonight with the loss, hey, you get love from my way. Y'all have a good night.